Hey, what's up? Jason here from Unity3D.College. Today we're going to talk about keyboard controls for UI navigation. So I've got a scene set up here with a bunch of buttons and two toggles. I'm going to hit play and show you what I'm talking about, and then I'll show you how to set it all up. So if I click on a button, you see it gets highlighted green. I just changed all my highlight colors to green, and it stays selected. And I can use the keyboard arrows to kind of move between these. I can go up and down, left and right. I can even go down to these toggles and then I can bounce back up. Now if I go down to this toggle, you see I always go back up to that one same button. If I go to this toggle though, I've set it up a little differently so I can go left to go to that one or right to go to the top right button there. Now, there are quite a few options that you have here and a lot of this stuff is kind of done automatically for you. And I'm gonna go over those now, let's look. So if we look at the first button right here and take a look at the navigation field, you see it's set to automatic. There's also a visualize button down here and I'm going to click it and then show you kind of what it's doing. So I hit visualize and all of a sudden you'll see all of these nice little yellow arrow lines. And these are showing the movement between different UI elements. So with this button right here you can see if I go right I'm going to go over to this button. If I go left from this button I go back here. Same with up and down. They work kind of how you'd expect. It gets a little bit weirder when you get to these toggles because they're not lined up perfectly in a grid and the automatic navigation is just kind of doing its best job at guessing where we want it to go. But we can customize those and we will in just a moment. First though I want to show you some of the other changes that we can do. So if I select maybe this top row of buttons. Say I don't want this top row of buttons to make it so you can go down. I only want to be able to go left and right. What I can do is change this navigation mode from automatic to horizontal. And now you see that the arrows going downward all disappeared. If I go back in the game, if I hit down, nothing happens. I can go left and right, but I cannot go down. And this could be useful for a situation where you don't want, or you have some buttons maybe on the side that you don't want going down, and you only want them to go down through the middle. In fact, we could do something like that here and maybe just select like buttons. Um, let's select like these inner ones and allow these ones to be automatic. So then when I'm out on the edge here, I can't go down, but once I go in far enough, I can go down. So you can imagine we could set up a UI where we can only get to certain things through the correct path that really makes sense for our game. Now there's also the option to change them to vertical. So I can change like all of these buttons right here and just grab them all, change them all to vertical, go back into the scene view. You'll see that all they can do now is go up and down. They can't go left and right. This one arrow that's going into here is actually coming from this bottom toggle. So don't, don't confuse that with the one coming from that button. So now if I go into the game view again, click a button, I can go up and down. I'm getting that green because I was on it. But I can't go left and right. Left and right don't do anything. If I want to go over to one, I have to go down and then up and over. So again, those are both kind of cool things. But what about when we really want to customize it? So remember, I've got this toggle down here. If I go left, it just kind of goes to some random spot. If I go right, it goes to some semi-random spot. But now on the bottom toggle, I've switched it up. And I'm going to show you that. So let's go to the bottom toggle. Let's select it right here. And I've changed the type of navigation to explicit. And what this does is allow me to specify the exact control that will get selected when I hit left, right, up, or down. So you can see here, if I hit up, I go to the other toggle. That's that one. If I hit left, I go to this first button. And you can see the green arrow, or the yellow arrow right there. And if I hit right, it's taking me over to button 9, which is that top right button. So if I go back down into game and hit left, you see I went right up to that button. That's where I expected it to go. Now you can do quite a bit. You can build some pretty crazy UI controls. Most of the time, automatic works for the most part. There, there are some cases though where you'll need to change things and actually customize. I find myself usually using either automatic or explicit because either the things are kind of laid out in a way that really makes sense and navigating between them is obvious and easy. Or there's a component or two that need some special navigation because I have a list of things here and then maybe a button or two over to the right and I just want to be able to control where those navigate back to. So setting up a UI again can be pretty simple but it's also really just important to make sure that you get this right and make sure that your keyboard inputs are, are correct and make sense. Again, it's pretty simple so I definitely recommend you jump in there and do it, try it out before you ship your game or your app. And um, hopefully this video also helped you. If it did, don't forget to share it, like, hit subscribe. And um, thanks for watching.